Yo, what's going on guys? So we got the baseball crew in today. Uh, what you're gonna see is basically what a phase one linear focus speed day looks like. After that, we'll attack a little bit of lower body strength. Check it out. Let's go ahead and get to our pogo series. So I wanna go 10 yards down, both feet, just through the foot. Let's walk back. Good. Now let's go back to the other leg. Now let's get the entire leg involved. I want ankle, knee, and hip. All right, absorb using the ankle, knee, and hip. Let's get into our skip series. You got 24 yards down, pushing for height. Pushing for height. All right, so drive up each time, 80%. Let's go, let's warm it up. Pushing distance. Push, good. I want arm action, right? Create good habits with your arm action. Knee, try to get to hip level each time, all right? Better, good. Hey, on the line. Big thing I need you guys to focus on is train fast to get fast. It's all neural drills, so I just need you firing up the nervous system as much as possible. Also, they'll create good patterns, all right? So make sure the arm action is good. You know, try to pick up the amount of steps on each one. So we're gonna go 10 yards down. I wanna go, first one is gonna be high knee piston run. All right, so stay in dorsiflexion, ankle stays cocked from here, rib cage slightly over the pelvis, chin tucked. I just want you to rapid fire as fast as you can, as many steps as you can, all right? Foot comes up, comes right back down. I want you to focus on lifting with the hip, Right, pushing down with the glute. Slightly forward, chin tuck slightly. You don't gotta go here. I just want you here and have that rib cage slightly over. Right now you guys are back a little bit, so you look like you're coming here. I want you here. Bom, bom, bom. Go across the knee, so we're gonna go butt kick run. Remember, thigh travels forward. Doesn't necessarily need to be hip height just yet, right? But I want a lot of steps. You're picking it up and putting it down. And we're here. Pick it up, put it down as fast as you can. You're not stomping the ground here. Light on the ground, rapid fire with the hip and across the knee. All right, triple flexion. Ankle never points. Toes never point. Keep them cocked the entire time. Let's go. Let's put it together now. Let's go high knee butt kick. Only difference is, same thing you just did, only difference is, is my thigh keeps traveling forward till my knee meets hip level. We're embellishing the movement getting to that range. Now, with this, what's gonna happen? A lot of you are gonna sacrifice the heel coming up to the butt to get the knee high. I wanna see both. So let's pick it all the way up, put it all the way down. Don't give me this. All right, so get the heel up high too with the knee. This is butt kick. This is high knee butt kick. All right, so we're gonna go five yards, but I want max reps in five yards. You don't gotta go far, you don't have to travel. All right, so next one, it's gonna be step over run. So we're doing just what we just did but just focus on stepping over the opposite knee. So all you're doing is as you lift it up, I'm releasing the hamstring and pulling back down, pushing back down towards the ground, all right? I don't need to kick my leg out. I'm not kicking the leg out. All I'm doing is acting as if I'm stepping over something, okay? So first part, high knee butt kick, right? Second part, step over the knee. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Big focus or else this can turn ugly really quickly. So we're gonna start back here at this line. We're gonna go five yard increments. 
All right, we're gonna do basically the same progression we just did, but it's gonna be continuous now, right? It's gonna be continuous, so you have to be aware and you have to lock in on what you're actually doing. So first five yards, you're gonna go high knee run, okay? So we're firing up the hip, firing up the hip flexors. That's the whole goal, all right? So five yards, pop, 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 pop. Second five yards, you're going high knee, but you're adding a butt kick. Does that make sense? High knee, but adding a butt kick. So now we're flexing across the hamstrings. So now, as soon as I hit this line, boom. Now I'm coming here. Third line, we're hitting the step over. So I want you to feel what it's like to do each individual segment fast and then progress it. So again, first five yards, high knee run, right? First five yards, high knee run, then high knee butt kick run, then step over run. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Train at that level of speed. I want you to feel what that feels like, all right? High knee, high knee butt kick, step over. 15 yards, all right? Lock in, lock in for me. You're gonna go two of these. All I'm gonna start off with is here on this line. We're gonna go five yard step over, okay? Then, once we hit five yards, all we're doing is adding a little bit of pull to that step over. I'm adding a little bit of force to that step over. So my stride actually starts to open up. Whereas you weren't gaining distance the first five yards, the next 15 you'll be gaining distance, okay? What's that look like? I'm here. Step over, step over, step over, step over, start to open up. Nice and easy, and I get into my tempo top speed run. Now, this doesn't mean when you hit five yards, you dip forward and start running. All it means is every, every single cycle, I add a little bit more force to the ground, and I start to open my stride up. Boom, 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 nice and easy. Don't kick the leg out and reach. Stay tight and pull back down to the ground. All right, five yards, then open up. Two sets, 20 yards, here we go. Starting on the line, knees soft, ankle cock. I want you pulling, all right? Foot hits underneath, foot hits underneath the hips. Pull away, remember, big focus. I don't want you leaning back, right? I want you rib cage stacked over top, chin slightly tucked, looking straight forward, chin on the shelf. From here, I'm focused on my feet separating or my legs separating, okay? So I don't wanna be forward front side here. I wanna be e equal where my leg is pulling, front leg's popping, so that scissor motion. Give me that scissor motion, 24 yards down. Nice and easy, get into top speed. I want to see a clean 15 yards of top speed, nice and easy. Clean cycle, nothing crazy, just relax. Relax the upper body, relax the neck, relax the face. Get in your top speed, it's a nice and easy stride. Don't think too much about it, you're just running. All right guys, so what you just saw was a lot of the basic motor patterns that I'm trying to work within the actual top speed or maximum velocity phase uh, is what I kind of call isolate and elevate, right? We're working a series of motor patterns and sequences and we're progressing those and the whole goal is to perform them at a high level for that neural activation. That's really what phase one is all about. Before we get into all of the unique drills and everything else that we do, we wanna conquer the fundamentals and the basics in phase one, get them ramped up, right? Then we can focus on integrating later on into our actual speed. So hope that helps. Good depth pat, right there, good.